Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HADR tutorial part 12. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to switch roles, uh, like from the primary to standby or standby to primary, how to switch roles of the uh, database, HADR database, without issuing the takeover command or any TSA commands, if you are in a TSA setup. The scripts that I'm using are freely download, uh, available, freely available at db2lw.academy.blogspot.in. Please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash db2lw.academy. You can reach me at db2academy at gmail.com. Now this slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution. The scenario or the tip that I wanted to uh, show you uh, here is to demonstrate how to switch roles of the HDR database like from primary to standby or standby to primary without issuing the takeover uh, command or uh, the TSA commands if you are in it, if it is mostly applicable for a TSA based scenario only and uh, the TSA com command is there like RGREQ resource group request hyphen action move so without using these commands how can you switch the roles of the database uh, and also you can also start the instance without using the db2 start command so the solution is very simple there is a utility db2 gcf this utility is available um, uh, this utility is invoked in uh, the tsa scripts uh, which are available in opt rsct sa policies db2 folder like there are, there are a lot of start stop scripts hadr monitor scripts available you can see that those scripts are using this db2 gcf utility now uh, that will do the magic like that's that's the demonstration that i wanted to give it to you and here i am not suggesting the suggestion is not to do it this way so this is like a non-standard way never do this way so there is a statutory warning for kids stunts done by the db2 gcf utility is dangerous and best performed by trained professionals like tsa so what i mean by that is th this this might look like a tna wrestling kind of a warning message but yeah the the thing is uh the db2 gcf utility is getting invoked from within the tsa scripts so it's always let it be that way so we don't need to manually execute this gcf utility and the next warning is do not try this at home office school or anywhere okay that was just for fun okay uh, the intention is do not use this utility. It's just for understanding and informational purposes that the TSA is using this db 2 gcf utility to do um, the takeover. Like it, it, it is using these thing in the start stop scripts and other uh, features and functionalities. So that is the the uh, intention. Okay. Okay. As usual, let's get to the demonstration. So here I have two systems. So like the red one and the red two red hat systems uh, configured with TSA, everything up and running. So the domain is online. The domain name is RHEL DOM. And uh, this is the LSAM output. And I have just um, just started the domain. So I'm, the first step that I'm going to show you is how to start the instance using this DB2 GCF utility. So you can run this DB2 GCF hyphen U. U means like up. You can say D means like down. Uh, I, the instance name, and L is for the logging purposes. So you can run this directly on a red one. So I, I don't know which one is primary and which one is standby myself now. Um, I mean, I really forgot. So I'm just going to issue this command on both the systems, red one and red two. It's just going to bring up the instance, like uh, like start, start of the instance is done. It's taking a little bit time, but um, I mean, yeah, so done. Okay, so we can go and check that up here. Okay, it's done. So you can see that the lock is still there, right? So that's why I'm saying it's, this is like a very, very non-standard way of doing things. Usually it's not recommended, okay? I mean, it's not, it, there's nothing usual. It's like, it's not recommended, okay, to run this in a direct manner. It has to be run from the TSA scripts. But this is just a demonstration to to show you that that particular thing is coming up, uh, the instance is coming up by means of execution of that utility. So that is what I'm trying to say. So as you can see, the TSA lock is not removed. So that's fine. 
Okay, so let's go and activate the databases. So I myself don't know which one is primary and which one is standby. So I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, so if it is taking more time, I will activate it on the other machine. Okay, so I activated Muggy here. So then I can activate Muggy here also. So Muggy is, is one database. And then I can go and activate my bingo database. Okay, so let's just do that. So let me go to the red one itself. Okay, yep, uh, it's up. Okay, let's do the same thing here. And uh, let's check the, uh, yes, everything is up and running. So let's run the LSSIM status. There you go. The databases became online and everything is online in red two system. So red two is our primary as per this, um, this online status, right? Uh, we can see that the red two is primary. So what I'm going to do is, is just, I'm going, I'm just going to check that, you know, so I'm just going to check that out. So come here from the command. So both are standby. So red one, both the databases are standby and red two, both the database, if it is active, it's, it's going to be primary. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is run this, D <coughs> sorry, run this DB2 GCF utility, U for like up, I for the instance, the primary instance, the standby instance, the database name, and I'm going to do that. Okay. So let's go do that. So I'm going to do this on the standby system so that it will become primary, right? That's, that's this GCF utility. So I'm going to switch the roles of the database from standby to primary done. Done, 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 done. Okay. Um, then you go for, do, do the same thing for the bingo database as well. And it should be done. This is really, really, I'm saying you non-standard way to not do this. Okay. You can see both became active here, right? Both became primary here and both should be standby here. They have swap roles. Um, and the thing is, this utility is invoked from the TSA scripts and the demonstration that I want to provide is this is what is the functionality for it. It can start the instance for you. It can stop the instance for you. It can swap the roles of the primary and, sta and standby. And it is done uh, used by the, the TSA scripts and do not use them directly. So th this is just for informational purposes. And let's do it one more time. So like put it put it back the way it was. So here it is in standby, right? So I'm just, I'm just going to demonstrate one more time. Let's see. Uh, okay. Then bingo is another database. And please note here that I have no virtual IP address configured. So if the virtual IP address is configured, then it behaves in a different manner. Okay, so I, I just don't want to get into that. This is just to demonstrate the ability of this utility to swap roles of the HDR database. And this is extensively used in the TSA scripts. That is the purpose of this tutorial. Hope this tip and information was useful to you. Uh, See you in the next video tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash db2luw academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash db2luw academy. Bye-bye.